Marco, I will be right back. I'm going to double check, okay? Yeah, that's fine now. She'll be back. She's just going to find out uh, who they're putting up so we can get the uh, names of who's playing. And I think that Anonymous is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. All right, I am back. You just go to UC Billiards, right? And then click on Gold, uh, APA Gold. PT Crushers is putting up Eric Johnson, who is a four. And HB is also putting up a four. And that is Gina Corbo Sierra. Again, I apologize for my pronunciation of the Corbo Sierra, yeah. So that this is good. a 3-3 three, okay. three race right here. Okay. So 3-3. Three, three. Oh, and Mike. So Zim is here. Okay. All right, and Eric is breaking over here. There are lag rules here for Higman 9. Um, I, I'm not sure if it crosses the middle line what that means, but I do know that if they hit, if the two balls hit, then it's a you lag again. And if your ball falls in the pocket, then your opponent wins the lag. Yes, I just asked the uh, league operator if it hits the side rail or goes in the pocket, then you lost the lag. If the two balls hit each other, then you lag again. But if it crosses the line, it doesn't matter. No. All right, guys, sorry about that. I was just sending the uh, the app out to one of the players from uh, PT Crushers. He was unable to get down here, and uh, so he wants to be able to still see his team and support his team. So we just sent him out the app. If you guys have it, it's the Ustream app. 
and you can search APA and you'll see the one with all the views on it. That's the one that you want to be looking at to see this uh, live stream action. Speaking of which. And a lot of people are texting me saying, hey, I hear you on the stream. Please stop talking. Oh, so it's not just me that feels that way. <laughs> Apparently. Again, that clapping right there is for United AIDS and MVP's match. Anthony just won that rack, so now they are tied at three, and it is a race to five. Looks like, and there's more people coming in from out from he earlier today that are coming back to come in and uh, sweat the action up front and in person. He hit the too thin. Gina shooting now. Well, at least she was trying to reverse bank the six ball. He's trying to see if he can fit that 12, that 10 ball into that corner pocket. That I mean, was a very nice shot. Good shot there. And he's got he's got options here, you know. He's got options. He, if he wants to try and he can take the 15 ball, he can leave at the 15, and because he's blocking that six ball. Always better to leave that ball yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. And uh, he can uh, and he can cut in that uh, the nine in that the nine side. ball. He's got to watch that that. I guess it's the 11 ball that's on the spot. Um, got to find the, you know, he's got the side pockets for that. If he can get underneath it. Oh, great shot, but a little too thin. Overcut it. But now he's kind of blocking the side pocket as well. Mm-hmm. So he's got some, and you know, he's got he's got some pockets that he owns now. Good try there by Gina. That's cool. I see how it is. Very nice shot into the side pocket there. And you can always cut. What, Marco, what ball is that right there? What are we looking at here? Right oh, that, here. I can't. Uh, that, that's a 10 ball. Is that the 10? Okay. I believe that's the 10 ball. You can try to cut that into the corner pocket, leave that, or just try to at least push it toward it. Blue and purple on the screen look exactly the same to me. Good try there. Just missed it by a little bit. And he had good shape here for the 15. And then he had... He could have been able to get out from there. But Gina's got that. Now she's got that one ball shot. So she can shoot this one ball and fly it back into the middle of the table and see what the next option is going to be for her. I think she was hoping to make that three ball, but she nudged that the 10 or 12 ball there. 
behind the three. Good shot there. She came herself a nice shot on the sixth ball too. Now she gave herself a tough shot. Yeah. She's over the 15. Shooting over the 15. She's looking to cut that two or four ball into that corner pocket. Oh, that just was a very it. nice try. Yeah, just missed it by a little bit. So looking at the chat here, I see Mark and Hang the Nine One are talking about the lag. I mean, I, th I think you have the option. You don't have to lag. I think you have the option to either lag or flip a coin. During regular league, you do, but I believe Gold Cup, which this is, you do have Major to lag. Tournament. Yeah, you have to lag. Because okay. in Vegas, you lag. Yeah. Um, All right, so Pat is up there giving a timeout here. He's they're trying to come up with a, uh, an action plan here. And Pat is their six. Yeah, Pat. Pat's the highest rated player on their team. Actually, that's here. No, he's not. Tim, well, yeah, I was going to say, Tim is the highest rated they have, the highest rated player they have, but he's not here right now. So uh, I don't know. Can they, could they have uh, maybe like a, called him on an iPhone? FaceTime them for a timeout? You know, that is very <laughs> interesting. I don't know. I'm going to ask Anthony, can I FaceTime someone on my team for a timeout if they're not here? If they're at home, can I call them on my iPhone and FaceTime? Like, hey, this is what I have to shoot. What do I do? Although, you know what? <laughs> Probably not, right? <laughs> I'd be a little annoyed if you got if someone called me for a timeout and I'm not here. <laughs> The owner of Castle Billiard said if I was playing him, I, I can uh, I can FaceTime whoever. He said I can FaceTime Efren. I don't know it. I forgot it. Ooh. Oh. Got lucky there that yeah. he missed it. Yeah, he, he, he missed it. But you know what? He's okay. He's got two balls left, both of them in front of pockets. Yes. So he can easily... If he does get to shoot here, um, he would not have a hard. Shouldn't have a hard time getting out. Gina fired that one in, and she got a good shape. Oh, shooting over the eight ball, but she had a, a, a shot to sink that four ball into the side pocket. And now I think Eric can only go for the fifteen. I don't think he can hit the ten or twelve, whatever ball that is. Yeah. He just has to come out in between the eight and the four. Oh, or he can just play it soft. Very Going real nice first. And, and he's good, he's not gonna scratch. Yeah. I mean, this is still a tricky shot. You gotta keep an eye out for that, uh, the, the corner where he's shooting over. So we have zero, zero uh, for this first rack, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Still on the first rack. Perfect, perfect shot. So it's now Eric has one, Gina has zero, and it has become a 2-3 race. And Eric is representing? Eric is representing PT Crushers. Yeah, and that means Gina is for HP. There you go. These guys are super professional.
Happy Bastards at a Castle Billiards. Okay. Trying to make it a second trip to Vegas for them. This time for eight ball. That cheering you hear is Anthony just winning another rack for United 8, so he is now on the hill. His opponent, John Ronan from MVP, uh, MVP Pool Sharks, has three, so he needs two more. To the break we go on the main table. Yeah, and that's a big, that's, Anthony's gonna get that win there because his team's already down three nothing. If he can beat John, with, uh, without John winning another game, that would give his own team two points, get them on the board, and close that gap. Big match. Yeah. Anthony is a very good pressure player. Yeah. Another fellow King of the Castle player as well. Yeah. And this young lady's name? This is Gina. Okay, Gina. Show us what you got here. She's ranked the... Four. Four. Good shot here, and wow, nice lead for the 13. Yeah, and a possible follow this up with a 14. Get up above the 10 ball. Even if she goes in the top of the 10 balls, well, she got below it. What a Ooh, shot. shot. Wow. wow, but the position. The leave isn't good, but the shot was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Kick the 10 in the side pocket. Oh, because it's so simple to do well. Well, watch how she does it, and you'll learn. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I do need to learn how to do this, so. Make sure it hits good. Watch the five ball and the ten ball. Skimming right. Oh, she just missed it. That's what she was going for. She's reading upstate Al's mind. Well, the shot was there. Eric, we said he's going to take ball in hand here. <laughs> we want King of the Castle back. Mark's dying to have the King of the Castle tournament back. Write a letter to the to the, uh, the owner. Or drop a drop a letter in the suggestion box. Here. <laughs> Don't tell him that he'll be writing one every day. <laughs> they'll, have a, they'll have a suggestion box just for Mark. <laughs> With all different aliases. <laughs> It's full. a great tournament. The yeah, the it was. was. Uh, definitely the best so tournament uh, that's in uh, At least probably the East United Coast. States. Maybe the world. Yeah. We're not sure about And, you know, <laughs> it's just so, to play for that much cash, and, and it's so great, especially and it, because you have so many people there, and there's you've got so many different ranges from D plus to A plus plus, nearly open speed guys. You know, you can learn so much from watching and from just networking and making new friends and find new people who are a little bit better than you that you can learn from or people who might you know maybe you can teach them something pretty uh, smart shot right there yeah. uh, Gina has the paint on the 10 ball Gina right yes mm -hmm. Has paint on the 10 ball. I, I think she also has a shot towards, I guess that's the 10 or the 12 next to the 3 ball there. That's a, looks like the 12, 12 ball. Yeah, she actually, I believe, has the paint on that one, too. So she's going for the... She's going to bring the cue ball up table. Oh. Ooh. Nice try. Oh. And... and she's got a ball in front of her close to a pocket. That's good. Yeah. The only thing she really left open is the 4. But you got to come with it. This is the finals, folks. The winner of this match, this entire match, team points, will go to Vegas. In fact, all three matches out here, the winners will go to Vegas. Started out with a 47 team uh, flow chart. But three, uh, three three different flow charts made up of 16 teams on each flow chart. I originally thought it was going to be one team going, but it turns out three. That's yep. that's happy. We've got one, I think it was one bar division. So it's bar teams only. Yeah, one. One castle. Oh, is that how you split it up? Yeah, they did one, I think they did one castle. Oh, okay. uh, one bar. 
and uh, I think the other one was a mix. And so you had 47 teams, so you had three brackets of 16. One team did get a bye in one of the brackets. I think that might have been the mixed bracket. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, you have those three brackets, and we've gone from 47 teams. We've come down to these final six teams, and the three winners will be making a sweet trip to Vegas. And, if, and looking at the chat, Mark's talking about the Highlander, which is uh, another tournament that we have here at Castle Billiards. And that's um, for EPA members uh, only. For Bergen and Hudson County. Yeah. So if you guys haven't come to check it out, come down here. Um, it's a really good tournament to be in, especially for people who, if you play in the EPA, but you want to get more tournament experience, you know, it's a great way to get get practice in and play under the pressure you know take home a little bit of cash great Absolutely. practice for a gold cup yeah and i think they they do something too if, if you win that um you get some money and there was something about a I shot think, to the regionals I yeah believe? i think you get a chance to, to play in regionals if you win it and you can earn yourself a trip to vegas there so ball in hand yeah it's time to take that three ball out of the equation open up that eight mm -hmm. He can actually stop right there and play the six in the side, five in the corner, or go the way that he's comfortable with. But the three in the corner, the six is sitting pretty good. You're supposed to take the three ball out. But this here he's going with what he's comfortable this with. This gentleman? Yeah. This gentleman's name? Eric. Oh, sorry. This Eric? Eric. Okay. <laughs> Miss you at Snooker's Al for Josh to Alex. Went two and one in the main event, but got third in the second chance one. Alex, 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 which Alex? So I think he can cut that six ball. Did Pagalion show up there in uh, Snookers? I know Jason Shaw did. Are you maybe. talking about Alex Pagalion? I it could Since be. Since he's in town, maybe he decided to go. He loves Snookers. You remember the kid. I remember the kid, my, Alex. My kid, he says. I, 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 I probably do. I just know so many people, especially up there in that New England area. It's a great tournament. That was a really Our, nice try at that. Yeah, he played six. it with good speed and got just over. I think he was clear on that 12 ball. Alex he could hit that three. All right, guys, I got to step out hang for the a nine. Minute. I remember who hanged the nine is and his son. I apologize. I, I, you know, I was uh, actually uh, Snookers got in touch with me and they uh, they wanted me to be there and uh, they booked the hotel and everything for me. But when we looked at the schedule, I was already scheduled for this event. And uh, what Regina and Steve did was book me for, you know, their dates for 2018 so that they were definitely slotted and I can be there. See how popular you are, Al? Well, you know, <laughs> I, I really hate to do it. Like, if Snookers was to book me and, and Anthony was to call me, I'd say, Ant, you know, I got a slot. You know, but uh, Anthony booked me first. Because everyone loves having you around, that's why. I love doing it, believe me. I love doing it, and believe me, I love Snookers. Just as well as I love, you know, every other pool room that I go to. But Snookers is uh, exquisite. I don't have to ask. Hey, double D cups, they may look inflatable, and whether they're paid for is all. This is the gentleman that owns uh, the horses, the racehorses. He owns racehorses? Yeah, about 40 of them, thoroughbreds. 
I did not know that. Yeah. I watched one of his races on his phone uh, that race today, and his horse won. Oh, wow. He said, oh, look what they're doing on my horse. Come on, give him the whip. <laughs> He's slapping his hip outside. <laughs> give him the whip. Give him the whip. And sure enough, his horse won it. It's a nice message. Jason Shaw was down 7-0 in first match to a non-pro, came back in 197. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That's that's becoming a norm. It's been a norm. Uh, is it over yet? I don't believe it's over yet. But it could be. Depends on how far Mike Zuggling got into uh, the bracket. Did uh, Mike DeShane show up? Uh, should be over. I think Jason and Nelson were in finals. All right, so I guess uh, Mike DeShane probably didn't show up then. Ooh. Wow. That cue ball was hot. It was definitely interesting looking. But it stayed on the table. Okay, here we go. Gina has to really swing her stick here. Uh, both of uh, Eric's balls are now sitting in jaws of each pocket. And she comes with the pressure shot. On the 10, she is lined up one rail. Go to the rail here. Go to the long rail, and you come naturally into the angle. She drew it, which isn't so bad. But notice how she has to cut it. If she would have went to the rail, she could have been straighter in on this 12 ball and then followed up with the 8 in the opposite corner. Now she has to just make this and that's the problem with not getting straight on that ball oh Mike Zucklin banned him oh okay gotcha gotcha that's right he did ban him but he is a lot back in snippers Are they saying double D cup? Double what is D that? cups. Dunk, Dunkin' Donut no. coffee? Nope. Gotcha. Coconuts. Yes. The reason I said that is I happened to be at the store over here and they had a coconut bikini <laughs> made of like plastic coconuts. Interesting. Yeah. I reminded, that reminded me of Gilligan's Island. That was a very good show. Ooh, look at this. He missed the six, but the six comes back out of the jaws and winds up married almost to the cue ball, leaving oh. Gina no shot. I was very lucky on his part. Not only leaving her no shot, he, he it cut the angle off going to the right long rail. So George is in there, and she does have a shot going to the short rail here, but it's so hard to judge <laughs> the spin. Clapping you here, that John Ronan just won that rack, so now it is a hill hill race between Anthony and John for table table two. On on table two. That's this one here, it's hill hill match. Yes. And United Aids, which is Anthony's team, is down three nothing. So this is huge Ooh. for him. Wow, so you know this United Aids is still gonna if they win it, they get two points, but the other team still gets one since the Hill Hill match. Yes. Getting back to the shot here. Um, this shot here is so hard to judge when you got to go to the short rail before the side pocket and spin the cue ball because the six is on that side. I like coming two rails. Just passing the eight as you see it here and then going after the 12 ball. I think it's a bigger ball going two rails, but wait a minute, we got some She's gonna kinda... push the six close to the rail to make it difficult for him to get position. Oh. This is, again, one to two rails. You shoot it in the upper right-hand corner, bounce off the right long rail, and if you play it short enough, you can capture the left long rail and wind up with a beautiful shot on the eight. Some people like to drag the cue ball down on the right side of the eight ball here. 
That's okay if you are used to the speed of the claw. Sometimes you drag that cue ball and you get too low. So using the rail off the right and coming to the left will reassure you that you're going to stay above the eight. You could adjust the speed a little bit more than dragging. Once you start dragging the ball, it causes a spin. And that ball is... Wait a minute. Man. I thought that was What, what level? What skill level is They are that? both fours. Oh, for a four. He should have... Um, he should know better, no? If I remember correctly, there is, I don't know if it's eight ball or nine ball, but he did only just go up in one of them. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. Then that explains it. Okay, the marker is on the bottom left-hand corner for this eight ball. That'll work. That'll work. But don't forget, you got a tiger by the tail. Gina made some beautiful shots. And if she makes this, she'll be out. Came up shy. As long as she doesn't give him ball in hand. And Eric is playing for PT Crushers. Looking to capture another game here. And that'll put them out to a 2-0 lead. And he's a 4 so he has to go to three. And if he should win three nil, then he's gonna put three points up on the board for uh, PT Cruises, and that's a crushing lead. It would be five nothing. Comes up dry on the eight ball. Gina's really got the weight of the world on her shoulders here. She's gotta get one game. Now, she, Gina's a what? She's a four as well, so she okay. needs two to get the one point. Right, but at least she's got to get that one rack to keep so them from shut out. Yeah, keep them possibly getting a shut out. All right, I've seen people scratch on these. He better pay attention to the shot. Okay. That one he was very confident with. Two nothing now. Yes. Yeah, so now he's on the hill. She needs to win three in a row. Not to add any pressure, but Gina, you got to win three in a row. No, no at pressure least, at all. At least get one game. Yes. You know, don't give them the full three-point advantage because that that that's like five nothing in the overall team points. Or if she can get the two to at least give her team one point. That's true too. That's true because they are on a donut on as far as total team points. Let's see the smash. Smash them up, the cue ball hanging in the drawers at the bottom right hand corner. Notice the eight ball right in front of the cue ball there. The eight ball was heading towards that corner. And uh, Eric goes away saying, gee whiz, how come the eight could fall and end it right there? All right, let's count them up. Four, five, six, seven. If he did sink a bowl, he's got the solids. off the monitor. Did he hit anything? No. Ball in hand. He hit the wrong ball. He hit ball. the straight ball. Okay. The 14 ball's a little troublesome in front of the one there. Uh. Uh, really, I don't think it has a pocket to go to, but it's going to be trouble down the line. Well, once uh. she gets rid of the nine in that bottom right corner, I think the 14 goes. And Jen is always right. As you can see, it goes right between the 10-3. But the problem is, it's a task to oh. get to that short side of that 14. 
I didn't say that it was going to be easy, just saying that it does kind of have a pocket. Those are the kind of shots <laughs> that Jen loves to take on. She loves the severe cuts. Oh, they're fun. Because yeah. you know what? If I miss it, you know what? It was a tough shot to begin with. Right. And then if I make it, it just makes me feel that much better about my game. Fantastic. That's how I look at it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a good attitude. Big match going on the one of the table two there. Both gentlemen really struggling to get out. It's a hill hill match. Maybe if we can get to the eight ball shot, we might be able to switch cameras over to show you the celebration that's going to go on. And it's not for the match; it's just for this uh, this match between these two players. It's not for the overall Team win. Match. Yeah. She hooked herself. Yeah, she's gonna wind up. Uh, she's a right-hander, so she'll utilize the short rail at the bottom of your monitor and kick that way into those three balls. It looks like she's frozen on the three. Watch the three. Oh, good hit. Very nice hit. That was a really nice try by Eric. 2-5 combo. Ball in hand in my eyes. So table two, John just won. And now it is a 5-1 team points. Five for MVP Pool Sharks, one for United Eights.
What a great shot right there. There's a gentleman that missed the eight ball hanging in the pocket and all of a sudden starting to come with shots like this. That's nice shooting. I just got a quick update for you guys. Okay. On the other table, which I cannot see, between Banks for Nothing and Make It Happen, they are on their second match. Make It Happen is up 2-1 two, two right now. And it's a four and a three playing each other. Thank you, Jen. You're welcome. Watch this. He might go into the three ball. If he goes above the ten, he's okay, but the way he's aiming, he might go right into it. He did want to leave it there. Nothing to complain about now there. Eric, right? Yes, Eric. Nothing to complain about now. It's there on the table. He's showing a lot of emotion to his opponent. Cut this in like it had eyes. Cut it right in that corner pocket, sir. Swing at it. Cut in the bottom left-hand corner. Well, since they're taking a timeout, they might actually tell him to do a safe. Well, he, he, he can at least cut it towards that corner. Send the cue ball around the table and back down to meet the three ball in that bottom left-hand corner. It's going to go around the 15 and back down towards this corner. <laughs> That's just my imagination taking part. I would just cut this. But again, I don't know where the cue ball would end up after. Trying to listen in on the audio of his coach. It's going to be a little bit over here. <laughs> That three is going to go right there, and it's going to come here. It looks like uh, Eric is debating on uh, banking this three ball. We're going to take a look at the angle. From here, we can't tell, but he says he's got a, enough to play the bank. He hit it, and close. That was a very nice try. Oh, she missed it. Yeah, this, this leaves an open now. It, it, all, all Eric has to do is calm down, make this three and the eight ball, and he's gonna give his team a tremendous lead in overall points by a score of five nothing. And they could possibly knock out Happy Bastards. He rolled it. The speed is going to hang it. It's good. Oh, nice. Good shot. There you have it. Eric defeats Gina by a score of 3 nothing. Gives his team such an advantage in overall points by a score of 5 nothing here in the finals. That's a big lead. Absolutely. John Triviano, the owner here, is on premises and is echoing in the background saying that's a tough one to come back on. We brought the uh, overall, uh, we, we updated the overall points to five nothing. The match points, we turned back to zero. There's another two players gonna come up. 